We're here. What's up guys, Sal here. So after months of speculations, rumors and leaks, the Galaxy Note 10 is finally here. So let's take a look at the top 10 features of this behemoth of a smartphone, which arguably could be the smartphone of the year 2019. Let's start with a hardware that defines the Galaxy Note, shall we? This year's S Pen has a 6-axis gyroscope and accelerometer, which means it supports air gestures now. So you'll be able to wave your S Pen around in the air like you would a magic wand, and I wouldn't deem you crazy if you called yourself a wizard now. I'm a what? A wizard! Yes, twisting and turning the pen in the air can zoom your camera or change the volume. You can also control YouTube, Spotify, and other media apps. In addition to air gestures, you'll also have the Bluetooth controls introduced last year, so you can do things like wirelessly play and pause music, along with using the pen as a camera shutter. Galaxy Note 10 now has live focus in videos as well. What it does is, it applies background blur to the footage in real time with no lag, thus giving an illusion that the video has been filmed with a professional grade camera, which is a really cool thing. We can also add some other special effects around the subject while you're capturing the footage, which I'm sure people who take videos will appreciate a lot. Another cool camera feature is called Zoom in Mic, which uses the Note 10's multiple microphones to target the audio coming from a specific point in your frame. Say you are at a park and zoom in on a band playing in the distance, the phone will focus on the instruments and bump up the volume from them while minimizing the noise of passerby behind or around you. Very cool indeed, LG has done it before, let's see whether or not it's effective in real life on the Galaxy Note 10. This is the most hyped feature of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It supports charging speeds of up to 45 watts, that's three times more than the Galaxy S10's 15 watt charger. But the problem is they're not gonna provide this in the box, you have to buy it separately by paying 50 bucks. They'll provide a 25 watt charger instead, which is more than enough for a lot of users, as it's still faster than the S10's 15 watt charger. Also, the wireless charging has gotten better as well. It now supports up to 15 watts of fast wireless charging, better than the S10's 10 watts. With the Note 10, fast charging gets a whole new meaning, provided you pay extra to buy the charging head. Dex has been a staple feature of all Samsung flagships. Ever since they introduced with the Galaxy S8, it has gotten better with each iteration. So what new improvements have they made to the Dex in the Galaxy Note 10? Well, now you only need a USB cable and a Windows PC. And the great thing is, you don't have to unplug your desktop computer from a monitor to connect your phone, which is way more convenient than before. Also, now you can use Dex on laptops too. And by the way, it comes pre-installed with Microsoft's Your Phone app, which lets you see things like app notifications, tags, and more from your PC. You don't need Dex for this, just set up this app once and it works wirelessly. UFS 3.0 is a high bandwidth storage solution which provides storage performance closer to SSDs. It's two times faster than UFS 2.1 that the Galaxy S10 has, so that means the data transfer rate will be faster, which is important as it will impact how quickly a game or app loads or how long it takes to copy a video file into storage so you can watch it. Bottom line, UFS 3.0 will enhance the user experience while maximizing a smartphone's battery life. Yes, the Note 10 makes the wireless power share actually useful as it now supports charging rates of up to 15 watts. That's way more than the S10's 4.5 watts and equals the S10's wired charging. So if you feel generous and want to share some of your smartphone's juice, then you can do it without waiting for hours. 
It comes with a new 7 nanometer Exynos 9825 processor, which is built on EUV tech, which is a superior technology compared to every other chipset production out there, including the Snapdragon 855 and Apple's A12 Bionic. But we'll have to wait and see how does it perform in real life once we get the handset. The Note 10 does not have sound on display tag, but rather there's a small speaker up top to create a stereo surround sound. It's good news because if they had gone with sound on display tag, then they would have to sacrifice stereo sound, so I'm happy there's an actual physical speaker up top. The Note 10 Plus comes with some of the class leading specs, 12 gigs of RAM for the base variant, 256 gigabytes of internal storage, and there's an option to expand it via a micro SD card. It has an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, just like the S10, 4300 mAh battery, which is more than enough to last you a full day of use, a premium build. Simply put, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the best smartphone you can buy right now. That being said, I'm getting the Aura White Note 10 Plus and there will be a lot of real life Note 10 videos in the future, so please consider subscribing for that. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.